I beg, Sandra, I want to ask you, must you marry? Is it a must to marry? You have already two boys, two handsome boys that you need to raise. Why can't you sit behind and take care of your sons? Why are you getting married again? Sandra, what do you want? Uh -huh, you are young and so what? Modest lifestyle. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Modesta. I'm a Nigerian currently based in Doha. And my space is all about motherhood, health, lifestyle vlogs, reaction videos, and many more. If you haven't joined this beautiful family, what are you waiting for? It's free. Hit that red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that anytime we drop or bring your videos, you will be notified. The modest nation, my own people, I see you all. Thank you so much for your support. It's a reaction video, guys. <laughs> you know how we do it here. We always updated on this channel, bringing the latest news as they hot. Here to react about the Sandra Reality, a YouTuber that is based in Oka, Nigeria. She got married recently. She, she's a mom of two. She, she lost her husband at a tender age. Guys, if you don't have Sandra and if you don't know, please hit to her channel and make sure you subscribe and support her. She has interesting videos. Uh, Sandra posted to her Imeigo Ibanku video and we were all shocked. I was shocked to my bones. Because um, being a YouTuber, you know, you will always think that things like that, important event like that, that is something that she would come and share with her subscribers, right? But to my surprise, Sandra kept this to herself. Nobody knew. Nobody knew when she got engaged. Nobody knew when they were dating and all that. And this is a big lesson to all of us because YouTubers and content creators will show you exactly what you want to see. So you cannot stay from far and judge them and think that you know everything about uh, a content creator. No, she will only show you the stuff that she wants you to see. And I commend her for doing that because um, most of the times social media brings a lot of relationships down. Then you start hearing, people will start deciding what to say, how you do this, how you do that in your relationship and your marriage and i think that's the main reason why she didn't you know disclose that till they finally concluded and they are getting married and i just want to wish her a happy married life she deserved this really she deserved it she has seen it all she lost her husband at a very tender age when her kids were still very young and she hold herself she kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and today she finally found the love of her life. It's a very, very emotional video for me when I saw that. Sandra took herself off social media and she has been cooking this and we didn't even know about this. And here she is today. She's married and she's happy. Some cultures in Nigeria uh, narrowed it in such a way that when a woman is widowed, it's, uh, it's more like a shame. It's more like an uh, abomination to remarry or even to go into a relationship. And they tend to blackmail and label that person. Oh, once you start dating, it's as if like, oh, you know what happened to your husband. You killed your husband because of your boyfriend, da 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 da, da. Whereas if, if he's a man, after six months, the man is getting married again. Just six months. Like... You will hear the, the, the man's family saying, no, he cannot wait for more than six months, so he needs to remarry. But in the lady's side, it's not the case. Like, they have to, you have to mourn your husband forever. Especially when children are involved. They expect you to stay behind and look after. And another thing is, I remember Sandra sharing uh, her story after she lost her husband. 
and the husband family called her for a meeting and they wanted her to do what? To marry her husband's brother. I'm like, what? And they were even like uh, telling her, oh, it doesn't matter, you just have to start making baby. Whether you make the baby from somebody, what about, okay, because you cannot have a baby with, uh, with protection. You know what I mean? You cannot have a baby with uh, having have wearing a bunda baby, what we call condom in, in Igbo. You cannot. And that somebody, okay, let's say that you, you went for a HIV test with this so-called person you want to start having babies with so that you will please your husband's family. Even if you have done tests, somebody can test negative today and after six months, the result will change. Because as soon as one contacted uh, this virus, it doesn't, the result doesn't show immediately. It takes a while. If you are in the medical field, you know, I don't want to make this one complicated. But the what I want to say is it doesn't show immediately. So that somebody tested negative today doesn't mean that the person is negative. The person can actually be positive. And she overcame all that. And she found the love of her life. Very, very beautiful, traditional marriage. If you haven't watched that video, please go. I didn't stop watching from the beginning to the end. The joy in her heart. That's why God's time is the best, guys. Sometimes we don't need to rush. Most of the times, ladies tend to rush into marriage without making sure that this is the right person for you. Yes, guys. Um, I'm happy that women are now getting it right. Days are gone, especially in my own culture. I am from Igbo. Igbo tribe in Nigeria. In my own culture, it's like a taboo if mar if your marriage is not working, or even if you've lost your husband, it's like almost like a taboo that you must stay. Whether the man is physically, mentally, emotionally abusing you, you must stay with that man. This is what a lot of I'm telling as as I'm making this video, a lot of women are still going through the same. Not that they are not ready to come out of that uh, toxic relationship, but they are worried about the society. And some parents also are not even supportive at all. Some parents will tell you, no, as soon as we give you out for marriage, you are not coming back to this house. So you have to make your marriage work by fire, by force, by prayer. Pray. You complain, they tell you, go and pray. Everything is not prayer. Prayer without good work is dead. Some things you need to take action and then back it up with prayer. I remember the first time that Sandra shared her video. I cried with her. You could see the pain that that lady went through. But she didn't give up. She kept on pushing. She kept on believing. We need to believe in ourselves, guys. We need to believe and trust our, ourselves. Love will find you regardless even if you have had 10 children there's a man designed for you sandra hey oh my goodness i cannot believe it guys her bestie was there as well uh banta with you know banta with angel nelo ekeke's sister she's sandra's bestie guys they were all the all glammed up, looking so... Mm, mm, mm. It was a very beautiful Igbo traditional marriage. Please go and watch and congratulate her if you haven't. Okay, guys, that's all I am here to say. Um, I know the title might deceive you. You might be thinking that, oh, why, why, what is this woman saying now? I am just here to say that I'm happy for Sandra Reality for finding the love of her life. And I wish her happy married life, long life, and prosperity. Man. If you watch till this moment, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.